everybody. Tonight, I'm gonna do a review on what's in here. It's the Hinderer Horse. This was sent in by, I don't know if I should say his name. I wanna just say Pete, thank you so much for sending this in. I'm not gonna tell you his whole name. But thank you, Pete, for showing, showing, letting me look at this and showing it to me. And really, really cool. This is dun, 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 double edge folding knife handle with care. This is the Hinderer Maximus, and it is super cool and super dangerous. Check this out. I got to get me one of those. I want to get a Maximus just so I can have that. That's probably the coolest beat ever. Isn't that cool? All right, so check this out. Let's flick this thing open. Ready? Boom, oh, look at that thing. Check that out. Pretty sweet. All right, now let's look at the edge here. The, the blade, we got one, two, three, about three and a half, right at three and a half, three and a point four nine inches of 20 CV. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Check that out. Let me get my old man glasses here so I can read things. Dun, dun, ooh, look, colors. There's the horsey, there's the USA, and there's some letters that even me and, oh, that says 20 CV, CPM 20 CV. So there's not a whole lot of writing on there for the folks that don't like it. And just a, such a totally useful knife. Oh man, I'm telling you, that this thing will bite you if you're not careful. Now watch, see, it is a dagger. It's a dagger, it's cut on both sides there. So you gotta be careful when you're closing it. This isn't some other hinderer. So I'm really careful, I can take my time. I haven't learned a fast way to close this yet. So if you know one, that's good for you. I'm just kind of an old grandpa closing this thing because I don't want to end up with a finger cut on my thumb. All right, let's check out the handle here. Just really cool looking handle. I love the way it's shaped. It's got like that sword hilt look to it. Something Maximus would carry. One, two, three, four, about 4.7 inches of handle here. Plenty of grip, just tons of grip for you. Got that G10 over the titanium. So you got the G10 scales. I what really is essentially a frame lock but we're going to call it a liner lock since it's a liner but has a nice thick lock on there and the lockup is oh see i'm trying to stab myself the lockup is just sweet on this thing just now you gotta be careful no problem all locked up nice and solid you have left right i'm guessing that's yeah left right tip up carry I don't know, can you put that in there? I don't think so. I think it's just tip up carry, yeah. So you have to, yeah, cause you only got the little slot for the thing there. So left, right, tip up carry. Oh, just about did it. Just about did it. Forgot what I was buying there. And, but the action on this thing is awesome. And here, here's a XM18 I just got back from the spa treatment. Check this out. And this action, is better than this. Now this has got a heavier blade to it and whatnot, but still, the action on this knife is just amazing. It almost feels like bearings in there, so I don't know, are there bearings in there? I'm looking online here, let me check real quick. Are there bearings, bearings, bearings? I don't see anything about bearings, but it is very smooth. Here, we move this out of the way. I wish I could, like, close it. Let's see if I can close it by shaking it. No, maybe it's not bearings, but it is smooth opening and super scary closing there. So, all right, so you got this really cool texture G10. Not too grippy, but grippy enough to make it useful. Like I said, you got this hilt flavor here on the knife, like a Maximus sword, double-edged gladiator jobber. 
and while it looks cool and you think well you know let me put this one away before I loco up somebody's stuff and end up paying for it it looks cool and, and you might think that well what's the use in this thing this thing is just I mean 20 CV steel on this and if you can remember what you got in your hand having a double-edged knife like that would be great just remember there's no choil up there that's gonna leave you unscarred so but if you can get down here I don't know what you get down there for because you got nowhere to get that accurate interior up close kind of motion but if my finger will fit down there your, your finger is good I just don't know what you can do with this finger up here there's really no reason to go that far up but just a cutter slicer you know Sasquatch sticker this is the one and then you got the cool bead you got this lanyard area back here let's see if I can close this up I know y'all are waiting y'all are waiting probably playing a drinking game how many seconds in is Josh not Josh Jimmy slash going to wait until he cuts it okay now you're barely gonna catch he's catching the tip of that knife a little bit on this lanyard so just barely Maybe if you just went a little tighter on this lanyard, you might be better. But oh, and he this is this is stripped out paracord too, so I guess that's that's about as tight as you're gonna get on that. So it's not bad. I don't think it's gonna cut it open or anything. As long as you're not yanking on it and trying to cut it, you're fine. So you're good there, good to go there. I do I like the hinder hinder clips. This they're super useful. They just they grip nicely, but they don't grip too tightly, and they have a wide base there, so it's not ripping and tearing into your pants. All right, let's see how much this thing weighs. Remember, we got the giant noggin there. Let's see where we're at. All right, how many ounces are we looking at here? Let's say so 4.5. Let's take pick this up a little bit there. I don't know, right in the 4 range, I'm guessing, 4.05, something like that. So, just a great EDC. A fun EDC, different than what you're normally carrying, but you got to remember, it really wants to bite you. It wants to bite you twice as much as the normal knife wants to bite you. But the 20 CV steel hinderer, I'm going to tell you what about the hinderer, folks. I sent this thing in, and this thing was pretty... Well, I'm not going to get into it. It just wasn't perfect. And so I sent it in, and they put a nice edge on there, redid the screws, did new new washers, cleaned it up for me, and that was 25 bucks. And they paid shipping on the way back, and that was all included, 25 bucks. And I essentially have a brand new XM18. They were totally nice. Totally nice about everything and just real helpful in every email I sent they sent me one back within you know half a day or so it wasn't I wasn't waiting and waiting for stuff and they kept me abreast of what was going on so you're buying a hinderer you're definitely paying the money for it I think these are on a little over four but if you're looking for a grail knife and you're looking for a company that's gonna have your back with some good customer service you, you can't go wrong with these folks and I have a few hinderers and I'm definitely going to probably get more in the future good a good knife and, and good people to deal with oh I didn't go European over here I apologize let's do the Europeans real quick dun, 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 dun. all right so you're looking at about 110 grams we say on this so not a bad knife, fairly light, really nice in the pocket, great steel, and it comes with different variations on the color, and I think different variations on the blade as well. I don't think they're all black and blade, so you can get a satin blade on this thing. Ow, that's not the way it goes. Oh. So there you go. Let me get the plastic bag out of the way. Check that bad boy out. Just a really, really cool knife. Uh, again, thank you, Peter, Pete. We're, we're friends. I can call him Pete. I don't know if you can, but I can call him Pete. Thank you, Pete, for sending this in, and just really cool to get to look at one. I've been wanting to check one out for a while now, and it's really a good opportunity to decide whether or not I want one, and I do want one. So 
I'll probably be looking out for one of these now. All right, get over to Facebook. We can talk to people over there about knives, about hinderers, about non-hinderers, about other things. Cars and life and candy and food and all kinds of cool stuff going on over there. And I think that's it. Let me make sure here. You know, what would you call this? Now I look at it. Would you call that a liner lock? What would you call that a frame lock? I don't know. Put put down there in the bottom. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's it's thick like a frame lock, and it's almost framey, but it's kind of a liner there too. I was just looking at that and wondering. All right, let me look around the room here. There's that. There's there's a cat, gorilla. Okay, I know you don't believe me. Okay, hold on. All right. I wasn't kidding. There was a gorilla. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later.